On the misty, cloud-covered morning of July 28, 1945, just three weeks before the end of World War II, the pilot of a 10-ton B-25 bomber heading for Newark Airport somehow lost his bearings in the fog, apparently mistook the East River for the Hudson, and banked his immense aircraft into the forest of towers rising up from midtown Manhattan. Pedestrians on the street below looked up in horror as the plane, intermittently visible through broken clouds, passed within feet of the New York Central Building, then banked just in time to miss another tall tower at 505th Avenue, rattling windows as it passed. The pilot had scarcely pulled out of the split-second maneuver when an immense form loomed into view straight ahead. At 9.49 a.m. precisely, the great engines roared as the pilot tried desperately to turn and climb away. The huge plane crashed headlong into the 79th floor of the Empire State Building, instantly killing every man on board. Just literally hit the building full speed, 250 miles per hour, in the fog, blamed on pilot error. Killed a number of people, obviously the, the aircraft crew, as well as a number of people in the building. But the building was barely rocked. I mean, there was a fire and there was water damage, but uh, many of the occupants of the building on the lower floors, other than hearing the fire alarms and seeing some water come through their ceilings, literally had no idea that something had happened other than perhaps just another thud or something. For New Yorkers, the nightmarish accident was a haunting reminder of just how lucky their city had been. Overseas, virtually every major foreign capital had been battered or destroyed. Berlin and Tokyo leveled. Moscow starved. London battered. First by the Blitz, then by V-2 rockets. Almost alone amongst world cities, New York had emerged all but unscathed. Only in the war's final weeks did Americans begin to understand just how profound the world had changed. In the decades to come, the specter of death by fire raining down from the skies would haunt New Yorkers and city dwellers everywhere. The subtlest change in New York is something people don't speak much about, but that is on everybody's mind. The city, for the first time in this long history, is destructible. A single flight of planes, no bigger than a wedge of geese, can quickly end this island fantasy, burn the towers, crumble the bridges, turn the underground passages into lethal chambers, cremate the millions. The intimation of mortality is part of New York now, in the sounds of jets overhead, in the black headlines of the latest edition, E.B. White.